Today we're talking to Eagle Brooklyn Director Gennaro Brooks Church about the energy recovery ventilation system being installed in the passive house site here in Harlem. Any house that's really, really well insulated, uh, because the passive house needs to be pressure tested, we, we pressure test the door and, and, and we, we see how much air is being lost in the house. Uh, and it's, it's minimal, it's tiny amounts. So, but any house that's well insulated and well sealed will need uh, some sort of breathing mechanism. So up here we have the ERV, it's called an energy recovery ventilator. And uh, we're using Ultimate Air. It's one of the good ones on the market. And essentially what it does is this house is so closed up, it doesn't breathe at all. The ERV lets it breathe. So it brings in air from the outside. And then it passes the stale air from the inside and passes it outside. It's not just a fan. It's, it's called an energy recovery ventilator because it essentially recovers the energy from the air as it passes by the, the, other, the air going the other way. Uh, so there, it's a heat exchanger and a humidity exchanger. So the, in the winter time, the hot, stale, humid air inside the house goes outside. And the cold, dry air, clean air, from the outside comes in. And it, it gets exchanged, and what happens essentially is that the, the humidity, which you want in that case, is uh, exchanged and passed to the air that's coming in. And the heat that you want is exchanged and passed to the air that's coming in. So the incoming air is not too dry and uh, it's warmed up. So that way, that way you can have nice fresh air in the wintertime that you don't have to pay for in terms of cooling. Uh, in the summertime it's reversed and the, the humid air, the hot humid air on the outside comes in and on the inside you have a, a cooler environment because of the insulation and also possible supplementary uh, air conditioning that's taking out the humidity. So you have cool, dry air going out, relatively, and hot, humid air coming in. And again, the transfer happens. The heat gets passed to the outgoing air, and we get rid of it. The uh, humidity gets passed to the outgoing air, and we get rid of it. And the air coming in is cooler and drier than the air that's outside. So that's what the ERV is. Uh, and we, we pass the, the tubes the incoming air goes to the bedrooms and the living area, the living room. The outgoing air leaves through the bathrooms and through the kitchen, where typically more toxins are created. So for, for sleeping, you've got a constant stream of fresh air. If you're in the living room, you've got a constant stream of fresh air. And in the other places, you don't have a buildup of toxic air. Uh, so that's, that's the way the ERV works. Uh, it's, in a, in a small sense, it also helps redistribute the heat in the house uh, because the, if you have one heating source, which we do, we only have one heating source because we, we need such a small source of heat, uh, it's in the center of the house, the, that heated air will go through the ERV, mix with the other air, and get passed to all the points in the house, the bedrooms and the living room. Uh, so it helps distribute the, the temperature in the house, which is also quite a useful thing. So when picking the system, there was two options. There was the heat recovery ventilator and the energy recovery ventilator. You guys picked the ERV. Yeah, we picked the ERV because humidity is an issue in uh, the New York area. I mean, it's not crucial, and we know people who, who haven't gone with the ERV. They've gone with the HRV. Uh, New York is kind of a borderline area between the, the, the hot and humid south and the, the cold and dry north. Yeah. So a heat recovery ventilator just recovers heat. Energy recovery ventilator recovers heat and humidity.